Hello, my friends. This is Miss Stern, and I'm so happy you joined me for today's story, One Tiny Turtle. I've read this story for years, and the kids always liked it. So I hope you enjoy it too. It's about the life cycle of a turtle. So we're going to follow this turtle from being a tiny little baby until it grows up. So I hope you enjoy it. Are you ready? Here we go. Sea turtles are related to tortoises and terrapins. They're all reptiles. Sea turtles are great wanderers, traveling thousands of miles each year, often far from land. This makes them difficult to study. So scientists are only just beginning to find out about their mysterious lives. There are seven species of sea turtles. This book is about the loggerhead turtle. Loggerheads live in seas all over the world. Far, far out to sea, Land is only a memory, an empty sky touches the water. Just beneath the surface is a tangle of weed and driftwood where tiny creatures cling. This is the nursery of a sea turtle. Passing in a boat, you might not notice the turtle, not much bigger than a bottle top. She hides in the green shadows. She's a baby, so her shell is soft as old leather. Just a little fish bite could rip it open. But the turtle is safe in her world of weed and snaps her beak on tiny crabs and shrimp. The turtle swims around, flapping her long front flippers like wings. She is flying underwater. She pokes her pinprick nostrils, oh, they're little, aren't they, through the silver surface to take a quick breath. So fast, blink, and you'll miss it. Then she's gone, diving down into her secret life again. For three or four years, maybe more, the turtle rides out storms and floats through hot calms. What does it mean to be calm and how is that the opposite of a storm? Steadily, she outgrows her nursery. So what's happening to her size? Nobody sees her leave, but when you look for her, she has vanished all the same. I wonder where she went. A year or two later, she turns up close to land. Bigger than a dinner plate now. She's not a fish snack anymore. Her shell is hard as armor. Her head is tough as a helmet. She's grown into her name, Logger Head. She has come to eat crabs. Millions swim up from deep water to breed in the shallows. Their shells crack as easily as hen's eggs in her heavy jaws. She's gotten big, hasn't she? But in a week, the feast is over and Loggerhead disappears again. Loggerhead wanders far and wide in search of food. In summer, to cool seaweed jungles where she finds juicy clams and shoals of shrimp. Do you like shrimp? And in winter, to turquoise lagoons, warm as a bath, where she can munch among corals. Loggerhead may travel thousands of miles, but she leaves no trace or track for you to follow. Only good luck 
will catch you a glimpse of her. For 30 years, you might not find her. Oh, that's a long time, isn't it? Then one summer night, she arrives on the beach where she was born. She's found her way here, sensing north and south like a compass needle, feeling the current and the warmth of the waves. She remembers the taste of the water here and the sound of the surf. She's a good traveler, isn't she? Now, before I read this page, I always tell my students when they look at the picture, don't worry, she's not crying, she's not sad. We're going to read to find out what's going on with her eye. Loggerhead has grown in her wandering years. She's big as a barrel now. Floating in the sea, she weighs nothing. But on land, she's heavier than a man. So every flipper step is a struggle. And her eyes stream with salty tears, which help keep them free from sand. Loggerhead makes her nest where the sea won't reach. Scooping carefully with her hind flippers, she makes a steep, deep hole. Inside, she lays her eggs like a hundred squidgy ping pong balls. Can you imagine what the size is like? Afterward, she covers them with sand to hide her nest from hungry mouths. She's pretty smart, isn't she? Then Loggerhead is gone again, back to her secret life. Left behind under the sand, her eggs stay deep and safe. Baby turtles will grow inside. And before the summer's over, they wriggle from their shells. Above them on the beach, a hundred eyes watch on the lookout for a meal. So the hatchlings wait until night. Then they burst through the sand and skitter toward the sea. That would be fun to watch. You, you know, you can um, see that on some videos. Ask an adult if they can help you find one. In the dark, claws and beaks and grabbing paws miss only one young turtle. One day, she'll remember this beach and come back. But now she dives under the waves and swims, swims and swims out into the arms of the ocean, far, far out to sea. Land becomes a memory waiting to wake in the head of the little turtle. Does that remind you of how our story started? So this is about a cycle. I hope you liked that story I did. Now remember, this is about the life cycle of the loggerhead sea turtle. Like I mentioned before, you might want to see if someone can help you find a video of the turtles hatching. Maybe you could go to an aquarium and see real turtles. Some of the local aquariums have rescue centers and you can always look online with the help of a grown-up to see if you can have a virtual tour of an aquarium. The one thing that I want you to think about is the cycle and make a big circle on a piece of paper and draw pictures with words to of the different cycles of the turtle starting when it was a little baby in the nursery and go back to the story and look for the different parts and remember that at one point it was tiny like a bottle cap 
and then a dinner plate, and then as big as a barrel. So have some fun with that. And until next time, my friends, happy reading.